hope you are a sociopath. First off, screw group projects, my mental health. Put me out of my misery. I should have been an engineering student. Can you see me? Kitty kept jumping up on my lap. Isn't this a look? channel and happy Tuesday April 7th I'm gonna get this together because the video that I posted yesterday which is off from like this timeline that you're seeing it but yesterday I literally said in the opening I was like happy Sunday April 6th and then in the intro I put I think Saturday April 6th and I'm like what is wrong with me quarantine is making me crazy days don't mean anything anymore I don't know what's going on at all but hello how are you guys doing how is quarantine today I think is day 25 for me going strong going strong <laughs> another college week of my life kind of vlog because of course I'm still in college even though we're not really in college I don't know how to explain it but that's what today's video is <laughs> this morning for breakfast I made grits and I have a cup of apple juice but it's about 10 30 in the morning right now of course I'm already up I'm showered I'm dressed I need to make my bed as you can see and like clean up my room my class is at 11 10 so I have some time of course to eat my breakfast and have my me time my YouTube time which you guys know so I'm gonna do that and we'll check back in when class starts. Hello. I'm early, it's 11.06, but I'm on my Zoom. My professor is not yet in here. I'm curious what's gonna happen today. So I feel like something happens every time. My professor is on. Oh, there's Lexi. Just like, sideways is a good description of how things are going, I think. immediately wrote my discussion post for today so that way that is over with we were talking mostly about because this is my positive psychology course we talked a lot about how you have like mismatches within relationships she was talking about how like you know you always see the really attractive girl with maybe the not so attractive man or like the older 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 man because they have money or they have some other sort of resource that they want and so our discussion post was just to kind of like talk about different ways that we see mismatching going on but it also talked about and I want to hear y'all's thoughts in the comments because of course I'm a psychology major so I'm so curious and I love this kind of stuff but what do you think about the whole like opposites attract kind of thing? Do you think that the mismatching or the opposites is actually how you build a strong relationship or like good relationships come from those opposites or this mismatching? Or do you think that the perfect relationship is someone that like is exactly like you? Because I've always heard growing up that opposites attract, you want to find your yin to your yang, da 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 Because if you find someone too similar, all you're gonna do is like fight all the time and you're just gonna butt heads because you're too similar. Like you need someone else that's different from you. And I'm curious if you guys were told that growing up or if you think that or if you think relationships work better when you're different or you have opposite viewpoints or all these things sorry the lighting keeps changing because I'm standing next to my window and there must be a lot of clouds outside but I am genuinely curious the psychology major in me wants to know what you guys think so let me know down below what you guys think besides the point it is 1202 and while I was sitting there in class obviously as you guys saw kitty kept jumping up on my lap getting in the camera and my professor was like I see a kitty and I was like oh my goodness what I literally was thinking about while I was having class was because this calendar she always likes to lay here and she messes up all my little things but then she also gets hair and all of it and then I have to sit here and try to get it all out because I'm OCD and crazy maybe it doesn't bother you guys but it bothers me I have this dry erase board right there that I'm not using and I should put all my little things up here on this so I feel like I'm gonna do that right now just because I'm thinking about it and it's something completely random and then I need to clean up my room because I didn't do that this morning but I want to do this first because all the hair and the messiness is driving me insane over there I 
like the way it looks. I don't necessarily like that it's all the way over there instead of next to my desk, but at least it doesn't have kitty hair all over it, and I'm fine with that. So then I just put this back up there because that used to be here before I put the fish tank there. Definitely looks more plain because of course my calendar added color there, but it is what it is. Also, one of the things that really annoys me about this fish tank, of course I have a filter on it and it has to have like the air pump or whatever in the back of it. It's called a whisper pump, but it's so loud. Like, do you hear this? But that's literally all I hear and it's really annoying because I also don't know if you guys can really hear it in the background of videos because I haven't really like vlogged since I've set it up. So I don't know. It's kind of annoying for me. <laughs> Time to clean up. Now that my room is all clean and tidy, I need to film a video today. I'm actually filming like four different ones today, but they're kind of like building ones. Like obviously this is a week vlog, so I'll be doing this all week. I'm also filming a what I wear in a week. I need to finish filming the video that's supposed to go up today that I started like two days ago and then film another one that's gonna go up tomorrow. So we have a lot of like filming to do today. Y'all, I'm trying to take, can you even see me? A thumbnail right now and you'll never guess how I'm trying to do this. I have to hold it because the weight of the camera is what's kind of like keeping it there. But I wanted to get like a sky shot. I tied t-shirts together, tied it to my door. So that way like basically the tension of like this is the weight of my camera, it keeps my tripod like sideways. Obviously without my camera there, it's gonna fall forward. But with the camera on it, it just stays like this. And I was able to get like an aerial shot. I should have been an engineering student. That's all I'm saying. But this is the aftermath of me filming a video. So now I need to clean up everything and put it all away. And then I to film another video. Now that we're clean, we're on to the next video. I feel like it never stops. I don't think it does. I'll be back. Another video, another mess. I have to clean up and put clothes away. And oh my goodness, do you see this? I do this to myself, so I really can't be mad. I need to transfer footage to my computer while I'm doing that, because it usually takes a while. And then we're gonna make some dinner and I need to edit. We have things to do. We have lots of things to edit. So we're gonna get started with all of that. Once again, we are clean, other than that big pile of clothes that is being donated and needs to go into bags but we're doing well and now I want to eat while my footage is uploading into Final Cut so then I can edit the video get it up today but right now I want to eat some food because I'm starving I feel like I have not eaten grilled cheese and chicken noodle soup in a long time on the vlog so I thought it was fitting I'm gonna watch some YouTube I'm gonna relax a little bit but as soon as I'm done eating we're gonna start editing this video because it needs to go up today and it's already 3 30 <laughs> guys I'm so tired I've been editing this video for like five hours <laughs> I'm gonna stab you. <laughs> Please do it at this point. Move. Put me out of my misery. But the video's done. It's up. Griffin and I are making dinner. And then I have something else fun planned for tonight, but that's gonna be in a different video. But we're making beef and broccoli, which we made on the last vlog, so I'm probably not gonna vlog us doing it or telling you how we do it because you already know how we do it. Good morning and happy it's Thursday, April 8th. Ninth, I just got out of the shower and I need to brush my hair and do my little morning routine and everything. But we have classes today, so I'll have to hop on that and get some other stuff done today. I'm honestly not sure where I left off on the vlog on Tuesday because I feel like there was so much happening. I forget what I was doing. I think that was the day I filmed like four different videos and I swear I forgot like which video I was filming when I was talking. I don't know where any of that footage is going. I'm gonna have to look at it, <laughs> but I'm sorry if there really wasn't much on that vlog. I will make it up to you today, I promise. Today on the agenda, we have class of course and then I need to do a lot of editing Griffin and I ended up going grocery shopping yesterday which is good because now I have more breakfast food which we're about to make my battery's dying let me change you and then we're gonna go make breakfast all right I made a bowl of cereal please tell me do you guys put sugar in your cereal well okay let me clarify I made a bowl of Cheerios cereal do you guys put sugar in your Cheerios that's a better question but please tell me if you do it too so normally I'd be eating my cereal and I like watch YouTube have some like me time but I honestly just want some like us time because I feel like I have some things that I want to like update you guys on in general. One being my mental health. Now Griffin and I filmed another like Q&A video yesterday so I talk about this a little bit in that video. I genuinely think my mental health has gotten so much better through all of this because in the beginning I was definitely like stressed and anxious all the time like I was scared all of these things which I'm not saying that I'm not still like of course it, it, there's a lot of unknown and that's scary for me because I like to plan but I think that I've kind of come to the realization that like this is what it is and I cannot change it and so I need to try to change the things that I can change, 
which is my attitude, which is how I'm going about my days or what I'm doing with my time. I don't know how to exactly explain it. And I don't know if it was something like conscious that I've done. I've just like consciously realized today though that my mental health has like skyrocketed, I feel like. Now it is Thursday. I washed my hair, of course, but for the first time since like quarantine started, which I don't know if this is a big deal for some of you guys, probably not. Everybody's different, but in the shower today, I shaved my legs, which I have not done in so long because I'm like, what's the point? I'm not going outside. No one's gonna see me. Like, this sucks. Da, da, da. But today I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna shave my legs. I'm gonna put lotion on. I'm just gonna like feel good for a change during all of this. And I think by like making that conscious decision, I'm like, oh wow, you're doing good, Marissa. You're doing good. I've really enjoyed uploading every day for you guys. That is kind of stressful in and of itself because I have to like edit every day. But like in general, I think that's also something that's like been boosting my mood because I feel so connected with you guys. Like I've posted a video every day since spring break, which was like March 13th or so. That has been fun for me. Like I like posting, I like coming up with content, I like being creative. This is what I like to do. And now I have a lot of time to do that, which I guess is fun. So I don't know if that's put into it. Hello, kitty. But I guess I just kind of wanted to update you guys on like how I'm doing in quarantine. I found a rhythm. I'm not really in a routine per se, but I found like a rhythm. Like I know I'm going to get up, I'm gonna film in the day, and then I'm gonna edit at night kind of thing. But I need to find a better routine for like other things. The one thing that is still stressing me out a little bit is classes. I talked about this in the Q&A a little bit as well, but I just don't like doing online classes that much. At least how these online classes are being taught. Like I've taken online classes in the past that have been fine. These ones, I just don't like it. I don't like that I'm having to kind of teach myself by watching a YouTube video, reading lecture slides, and then expecting to like know the content. And we have Zoom meetings twice a week for my classes, but they're both running their Zooms like a recitation or like a Q&A. So we're expected to like know the material, then come to Zoom and then ask questions. So basically the only thing we talk about are things that people ask. And I just don't like that. I, it's really kind of stressing me out because I'd rather them just lecture. Like I want to log on to Zoom and I want them to lecture, give me the whole lecture. And you can record the Zoom calls so that way they could post that as like the lectures that people who don't have internet access as reliable to like, log into Zoom to like watch the recording later. They could post it to YouTube. Like, I don't know. That's just me. Everybody's different. Some people are like thriving like this, but I'm scared that my grades are going to fall and finals are really going to kick me in the butt. I think I'm more so in denial about how this is affecting my classes and then just like overcompensating and throwing myself into YouTube. I don't know what I'm doing, but like school aside, my mental health is great, but I am stressed about school still because of course I am a graduating senior and if for whatever reason I like fail these classes, like I don't graduate. That's scary. In other news, I've re-downloaded Sims onto my old laptop, so I've been playing that at night before I go to bed. <gasps> She's on. I'll update you later. I made it, guys. Woo! It's trying to keep me out, so I persisted. Class is over, it's like 11.45 in the morning. I wanna do the discussion post for today. I think I've said this before, but we only have to do, I think, two for the rest of the semester for like our points. But I've been trying to do basically all of them because I think it's helpful for me to check my knowledge and do that in a way. Because for ours, she usually posts like one to four questions. We can answer all of them or we can answer like one, we can answer each other. It doesn't really matter. I like to answer the questions. I don't really like when I have to respond to another person because I feel like I'm always like, oh my Oh my gosh, you were so smart. Yeah, like the sky is blue. I agree with you. Like it's kind of just like bullshit your way through that, but I like answering the questions, so that's what I usually do. So I'm gonna do that first before I start doing anything else. Schoolwork comes first. My discussion post is done, but for my other class, we actually have a group assignment due today, and I need to take a look at it, see what else needs to be done for it, because I feel like we do not have it finished, and our group really hasn't been working together since all of this, which is hard, and I'm so mad, because my one class is literally just all group projects. Like, every project is a group project, and that's so hard to do virtually, because not everybody is gonna do it, and now I can't see them in class to, like, see if people are doing it. Like, that's getting hectic, so I need to take a look at that, see where we are on our Google Doc. First off, 
screw group projects in general. I hate group projects. I hate working in a group. I'd rather just do things by myself. But also screw group projects during a global pandemic where we're not in school and everything's virtual and online. My professor is so dumb for that. But I finished the assignment all by myself because I mentioned to them on Monday. I was like, hey, should we start this project that's due Thursday? Nobody really responded and someone was like, okay, I just shared a doc because obviously we work in a Google Doc together. But then nobody's done anything in it and I'm like, oh my god. And nobody's talked about it and I've been waiting. I don't want to be the narc. You know what? Just wait for someone else to say it. But no, now today I was like, I'm just going to do it because nobody else is obviously going to do it and my grade's not going to suffer because they're not doing it. So I did it. Would you guys like to see all of my hard work? So these are kind of like the instructions of it. And then basically I had to come up with like a rubric. This class is like personnel psych, so it's kind of like HR stuff. So I had to come up with interview questions for a hairdresser and what kinds of questions they are and then why they're related to the profession. So I had to look on some sites for that. And then I had come up with a scoring rubric for each question so then I had to like rate it on a scale of one to five and what would kind of be that so if someone like answers within this realm they would get like a three or four or five or whatever for each question so there was definitely a lot of like typing thinking coming up with things for this assignment it wasn't like too bad obviously it took me about maybe 30 minutes to do so it's not terrible it's just the principle of the fact that I did it myself but at least that's done it's 12 50 right now so I need to start editing my video for today because I feel like that's gonna take a long time they always do but i'm glad i got that assignment out of the way <laughs> long time no update it's about 5 p.m and i have finished uploading my video it is live we're done while i was updating i was playing sims my sim has officially aged up twice she is an old lady now i got married and we moved into his house because his house was bigger but i did it again i worked through lunch i always do that like i eat breakfast and then i just get so preoccupied in what i'm doing when i'm so busy i just forget to eat and i forgot to eat but now it's like too late to eat because griffin and i are gonna make dinner soon so like i don't want to eat before we eat maybe i can just eat some fruit and then i want to like remodel my sims house <laughs> is that vlog worthy i don't know what you guys want to see at this point but this is quarantine for me <laughs> in case you guys were wondering this is how i sit at my desk all the time which i do for about seven or eight hours a day because all i do is edit i use my vr bradley blanket i wrap it around my body and then i tuck it in and i tuck it in isn't this a look like wow slippers and all i worked hard so now i can play hard if i play hard i mean eat pudding and play sims taking a break with my sims house i will update you guys in a second but griffin and i are gonna go preheat the oven we're gonna make a pizza because we don't feel like cooking yeah no, sir. i don't think i ever like cued you guys in on what i bought to like stock up on food but when i went the first time there was absolutely nothing at the store except for two big boxes of these mozzarella sticks so at one point i had 100 mozzarella sticks in here we've eaten 50 of them over the past three weeks but we still have my other one <laughs> shout out to all the pears Griffin said that that meme is dead and I said as long as Rick Ross is skinny it lives on but you can't make fun of me and then eat my pears it is now 906 I think last time I checked it with you guys it was like I don't remember but I've been playing sims for a very long time my sim died. She, yeah she died I have a funny video of it I'll play it for you oh my goodness she's dying oh my goodness oh my goodness the grim reaper holy crap <laughs> there's my husband oh my goodness <laughs> oh my goodness <gasps> Oh my god, he just took my soul. Wow. So then I started a new game, which I'll show you my house I've been building for three hours. But she died of old age. She didn't, I didn't do anything wrong. She lived to be 90. You can make her go for a swim and then take the ladder out. I killed an entire neighborhood one time. And then Sims permanently paused the game so I couldn't keep playing because I killed too many people. I just, wanted to, I just wanted to see how many you could do. You are a sociopath. Hello. We ate our pizza. It's now 12 12 in the morning and I've still been playing Sims. I finished my house. I'm married. I'm pregnant. Things are moving quickly, but my house is gorgeous. But I hope you enjoyed this little week in my life vlog. I know that they're not what they used to be and I'm hesitant to do them just because I know that they're supposed to be, you know, in college on campus and stuff, but I still want to do these because the semester's almost over. We only have like two or three more weeks. But before I close it out, I'm gonna read today's notable quotable, which comes from Blitz Angel Tracy, and it says, life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. And through all of this, 
even though we have like these stay at home orders and like self quarantined and locked down all of these things, you kind of feel stagnant and you're not moving, but try to keep moving, try to find something to do, whether that's working out, doing home workouts. I'm keeping busy, of course, filming and editing videos for you guys, but you gotta find some sort of balance in this hecticness and you gotta keep moving through it all. Sooner or later, we'll get through this. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below and follow me over on Instagram. I love you guys so much, more than you'll ever know, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!